Mediterranean should be going. Yes. So, hello, Joe. How are you today? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. It's good to have you on my channel. All right. It's good to have you on mine as well. <laughs> so, can you tell the audience a bit about a little bit about you? Let's meet you. What you do? What church you attend? And all of that. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm a Christian, obviously, since I'm doing my Christian YouTube channel. Yeah, I've been a Christian since like August of, what was last year, 2019. Oh, yeah, really? This 20, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, this 2020 got me kind of behind on my times. Mm. I still can't believe it's 2020 already. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? but yeah, I've been saved, so that's about what? seven months or so seven yeah. months same about it like yes ma'am yeah a lot of people don't know like i've always believed in god ever since i can remember i just for the last three years i kind of been mad at him because I, we lost my dad like to a heart attack so mm -hmm. i kind of you know like blamed him but a few months ago i went through some other hard times and i just finally gave it all to god one day all right, you know what, God, I'm not going to be mad at you anymore. <laughs> Ever since then, I've been trying to live my life for him. Oh, that's... Uh, so it, that... Yeah, it has been a struggle, though, because I do have some other personal things going on, but I'm making it, yeah, and, like, from my channel, I just want to, you know, go out there and spread God's love. I mean, he did so much for me. Mm -hmm. I mean... I got to think about it, like, everybody knows that, like, you know, Christians know that God gave his son Jesus to die on the cross for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to think about that one day. I was like, what if just some normal person, like, gave their life, like, if they just pushed me out mm -hmm. in front of a bus or something, how amazing that would be? Yeah. But then here is God, God, he did that. I mean, he took the worst kind of beating anybody could take. And he did that for not just me, but for everyone. For and everyone. Here he is like a lot. Yeah, and here is a lot of us. We'll like we'll talk bad about God, say there is no God. I mean, we treat him terribly, yet he still loves us. I mean, to me, that's just amazing. And I just want to like share that with people. You know. Mm, mm, mm. That's a beautiful story you have there, Joe. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> To think that you've only been a Christian for a few months and you are eager to uh -huh. share God's love with everyone, to tell everyone what God has done for you, you know, in spite of the challenges you have, you still want to proclaim God's love. That's awesome. That's so good. Yeah, I think it is too. Yeah, I mean, that's all I want to do. Everything I do, I try to do it for him. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. I mean, it's the least I can do. I mean, he literally gave his life for me. I mean, I can't do enough. Mm. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's pretty much my Jesus story, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he too, gave... as far... yeah, carry on. Yeah, sorry. as far as the. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, as far as the type of person I am, I've always been a good person. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm always that friend that is always there for those that I care about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And two, a lot of times, like, I'm always like the brother figure. <laughs> yeah. And two, big, I'm a huge dork, as you've probably noticed. Yeah. The big I'm brother. The, yeah. The big nerdy brother, basically. Yeah. I'm all into that Star Wars and computer stuff. Are you? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So before you became a Christian, did you what did you did you just go to church or did you never go to church? Yeah, I always went to church, but always... I was just one. Of the, yeah, I was just one of these that went to church just because it was Sunday. I guess it was just on my to do list. Mm. Yeah, but now I go because I genuinely want to be there. Yeah, and really, I wish I could go more than Sundays. I'd go every day if I could. Mm. Um, yeah, and actually, that's like back when we had cr Christmas. Like, we yeah. didn't have church on Christmas Day, but I was like, you know what? We really should have Christmas. If you can't go to um, church on Jesus' birthday, then why go, you know? Yes. Yeah. So, so now you have a relationship with him. Is that uh, what yes, makes the difference? That does make a difference. It makes a huge difference. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 
Plus, the church I go to, oh, it's an awesome church. It's the first church I've ever been to where okay. people like actually act Christian. <laughs> yeah. mm. It actually makes a lot of sense, too, because it's a church that's only been around like four or five years. Right. And like the couple, it's a young couple that runs it, like the pastor and his wife. Mm -hmm. They're only like their 40s. Well, okay. they started it to help the forgotten, which is these people that are like on drugs like may have been in jail mm -hmm. yeah so like these are people that have literally hit rock bottom when jesus came into their lives and literally changed them right and he like literally like saved their life so they know what it's like to actually be saved by jesus not just figuratively but literally mm -hmm. so that that church it's awesome church it really is yeah that's yeah. awesome to help people who society has kind of neglected exactly. you know that's really good to give them hope again, you know, because exactly. Jesus Christ died for everyone, and that includes people on drugs or whatever, you know. Exactly. Yeah, that's what Jesus, he wants to see everyone saved, you know, and not held back or held bound in whatever it is they're doing. You know, the devil wants to keep them down, but Jesus has come to give us life. And exactly. the only way we can get life is for us as his children to be true ambassadors of God and go out there, you know, and reflect the light, the light we have in us. We need to make it shine on others mm -hmm. and help them when they need help. That's why I'm doing this video today because there's so much um, negative news out there. So I feel we need to, as Christians, we need to show the light and give people good news let them know what God is doing, that God is still working. You know, the world may have this pandemic at the moment, but God has the plants, you know, in his hands. He knows mm -hmm. the end from the beginning. So all we have to do is keep our hope in him, keep hope alive and show the world that there is still hope. You know, we shouldn't give in to fear because if we give in to fear, it cripples us and we are not able to do what god has called us to do on earth but it's a time to have faith faith in the one who knows it all you know god knows yeah. everything so it's unfortunate that people have died as a result of this virus mm -hmm. so we need to go out there comfort people when we can virtually because we can't um, visit people at the moment but we can make that phone call and say hey how are you doing? You know, how are things with you? You know, we can help people shop online. We can do things for people to bring a little bit of hope into their lives. So yeah. that's my message. You know, what I do is I, I am a Christian coach. Mm -hmm. I coach women. I help them understand their God-given talents, you know, and let them know that, yes, there should be nothing limiting them from achieving what God has called them to do. Mm -hmm. There should be nothing. They shouldn't have any kind of limitations. The limitations may be there, but those limitations can be overcome with the help of God. You know, so what yeah. I do is I facilitate, I help them, I sit down with them and listen to God and know what their goals are. Where do you want to go? Where are you now? Where do you want to go? And what is stopping you from achieving that? So we look at all that and with God's help, we are able to eliminate limitations gradually and see them, you know, growing and becoming who God has called them to be. You know, so we need to spread good news. We need to spread the love of God around us. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because there is no love greater than his. Yeah. yeah 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 because like, i know how i am a, as a friend like oh i'm all about telling my friends that i love them <laughs> i mean yeah, i know how much i love people and i'm like it's like my love fails in comparison to god's love i mean as mm. much as i love people that's still nothing compared to his i mean like i'm the type of friend that i am always there for people but obviously you can't be there for people like 24 7 yeah, but you know who is that 24-7? Mm -hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
he's there 24 <laughs> 7 and you can trust in him <laughs> yep you can trust them even when you're sleeping <laughs> yes yes because he's watching over us even when we are mm-hmm. sleeping yep yeah exactly <laughs> so what's it like where you are at the moment are you able to walk around freely or not are you well right now i live in the country so i can do whatever i want to do <laughs> oh really you know, but, yeah i live about say 20 minutes from the nearest town it's just a little small town it's not oh. a big city or anything right uh, but right, right now around here they really have it locked us down or nothing Mississippi people aren't that bright, unfortunately. <laughs> so they still go out. <laughs> yeah, people still go out. Like they have not made it. They have not mandated it. Right. You know, like some place, some places have actually shut down, but here is like business as usual. Oh like really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they have recommended that you don't do it, but people around here still do it anyway. Wow. They, ne- they have not actually locked things down. Right. Yeah. So are schools yeah, still mean, open? Now the schools are actually closed, believe it or not. And a lot of our, our a lot of our restaurants they are closed as far as the dine in, but you can mm-hmm. still go through the drive through. Oh yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And of course the grocery stores they're still open, but you may not be able to find anything. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, because a lot of the stuff has been bought up, like people panic and they just buy up. And two, I know a lot of them, like, there are some people that buy them a lot of stuff and they'll try to turn around and sell it. Oh, that's not good. No, it's nice. People have lost it, I think. <laughs> oh. Over here, I mean, when the virus first came in, people went shopping, mm-hmm. you know, panic shopping. Yeah. But this week, since this week, now there's no more panic shopping because people have to queue up outside and only a certain number can go in at a time to do some shopping. Yeah. So there's food everywhere. Everything is out there. You can still find things to buy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here you, know, you can so, hardly find anything right now. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I, I've seen pictures from uh, Dollar General. The shelves are just empty. Wow. Can't they put some more things on? You would think, well, the thing about it, I think the trucks and things can't keep up. And, you know, a lot of stuff, too, in stores, it came from China. And right now, they, I think, got a hold on China where we don't even take anything from them right now. No. So that's a, so that's a lot of stuff we're not getting. Yeah. So this, I, th- I think this is a lesson. God is saying something <laughs> to mm-hmm. all the countries. Yeah, he's if, like, people, a, wake up. <laughs> yeah, it's a time for everyone to reset you know, mm-hmm. press the reset button. Countries need to start manufacturing their own things and stop depending on China. Exactly. You know, manufacture yeah. your own things. So if this happens again, you don't have lack of food or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like every time I went into a store, I flip something over, it's like made in China. <laughs> <laughs> Everything mm-hmm. is now. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I think yeah. God is speaking to the world. You know, we are all in in our homes and have you read this scripture let me open my bible isaiah 26 let me just read something out quickly i shared this with my friends on um facebook so let me read this out isaiah 26 verse 3 says that he will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because we trust in him. He says, trust in the Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. You know, so God is saying in spite of what is happening, he's going to keep us in perfect peace as long as we put our hearts on him, mm-hmm. you know. So we shouldn't allow fear stop us as, as Christians. That's the message we are sending to the world that God wants to keep us his his plan is to keep us in perfect peace you know we mm-hmm. just have to put our minds on him and then the other verse here 20 says come my people enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you hide yourselves for a little while until the fury has passed by can you believe that 
It says, enter your chambers. That means go into your homes, you know, and then it says, shut your doors behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until the fury has passed by. So we are in our homes now. Some people are feeling, oh, why are we, we can't do anything. But it's in the Bible. When, when something like this happens, go into your homes, shut the door. The fury, this virus is going to pass by, but we shouldn't look at it as um, being shut down in our homes. We are being kept in safety. Mm -hmm. This is the way of keeping us safe, you know? So if you're out there and you're worried about being in your homes, just hold on for a little while. It's going to pass by and then you'd be able to go out again and live life as normal. But for now, we just need to keep our peace and keep our faith in God until the fury or the indignation or the virus passes by. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. I tell you what, the first thing I'm going to do when this is over with, go eat some Mexican. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think everyone, when, when this is over with, we all want to just go out there and... <laughs> It's be like, happy. What have we missed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it will soon be over. It yeah, I think it will be eventually. And yeah, I think China, they kind of got a hold on it. So hopefully we will too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell you what, though, our state jumped, I think, up 84 people from yesterday to today. We're up to like 600 and some of them. Mm, yeah, yeah. So is there any other good news you'd like to share before we round up? <laughs> good news. Yes. I'm alive to live another day to serve Jesus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And I got mom that loves me. I got a doll that absolutely adores me. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah, you nice. Should, yeah, you should see him. He's a little baby. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's actually a video or two of them on my channel just being him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a little. He's like Jack Russell in Park Feist, and he's just a little frisky thing. Uh, what's he called? Oh, buddy. Buddy, <laughs> he's yeah, your buddy. I, exactly, and that's why I was thinking when I named him. I was like, I'm probably gonna just end up calling him Buddy. Like, hey, come here, buddy. Come um, yeah. here. Yeah. Name him, buddy. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. I kept it simple this time around. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. That's good. So, Joe, it's been nice chatting with you. Yeah, it's been nice talking to you as well. Yeah. Yes, yep. yes. So, yeah. you keep safe over there. Oh, I'll try to, and you try to keep safe as well. Yes, yes. And we are following God's word, his instructions and everything, and keeping our peace. Mm -hmm. So. We trust and exactly. believe that we are going to be okay. So and we're going to be praying for the world and everyone around us, our friends and relatives as well. So we trust in God. Yeah, and as well as everybody that's having to be out there fighting this virus, like the nurses, the doctors. Yes, yeah. definitely. They need prayer. They need lots of prayers. They yeah, do. Because they're like put, yeah, they're putting their lives on the line to help mm. everybody who's been affected by this. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Definitely we are praying, lifting them up in prayers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Joe. Is there anything you'd like to say before we round up? Uh, I just want to say to our audience, y'all be sure to catch Gloria's channel, like subscribe to her, like follow her, yes, like her videos, and do the same thing to mine. <laughs> Let's just get out there and share guys love. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I would love to see that happen? Like, just a group of us YouTubers, like, just have a small group of us, like, all get together and, like, somehow make videos and, like, really, you know, spread guys love that way. I think it's just a group of us together. Yeah. Yes. That's actually, like, on my blog, like, I called it Joe's Fellowship because I wanted to, like, get other people, like, involved. And, but, you know? Mm, mm. Yeah. that's so good thank you so much for recommending my channel i'll say You're the welcome. same thing please subscribe to joe's channel follow him like press the notification bell you know everything just help him grow that would be awesome 
that would be yeah, awesome. Just not virtual, virtually. I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to grow yeah. no more that way. <laughs> I know. I know, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Anyway, you take care and God bless All right. you. All right. You take care too and may God yes. bless you and everybody associated with you. Hope Thank your family you. has, are doing good and everybody. Yes, thank you too. And I wish you the same as well. Thank you. God bless. All right, thank you. Bye. You I'll uh -huh. send you this video, okay? Bye. Uh, okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.